Hi. Um, I know I don't have any subscribers really or many views and um, that's okay because I'm using this YouTube channel I think more as therapy for myself than um, for attention or any of those other purposes. Um, today I want to bring up being rejected by parents. Um, it's interesting because it's actually happening quite a bit on both sides of the family. Um, I have a mother-in-law who is a serious narcissist, um, which does are like very trendy words, but I've done my research and, um, you know, I, I tend to get myself involved with people like that. And I think it's because they can use my compassion and they can use all of the empathy that I try to feel um, for someone. Um, and then they just use it against you. So there's a mother-in-law that I have decided to completely um, let go of. And that's difficult because we share children, you know, um, a grandchild, we have a grandchild now, um, you know, it's their fam, her family too. Um, she's an extremely abusive, mentally abusive, unempathetic, very spoiled, I mean, very ungrateful person. Um, but, you know, you can't tell a narcissist that they're a narcissist. It just doesn't work that way. And I'm no psychiatrist or psychologist or anything. But, you know, I've, I've done, I've been through a lot. And so in the process of, of you know, addiction recovery and sexual abuse recovery and um, rape recovery and a lot of grief counseling um, and just my own wisdom and common sense, and uh, lots of books that I read and and, um, and have been since I was probably 15 years old. Um, I'm now 42, about to be 43, and I am just now grasping the concept that not everybody's gonna love the way you love. Not everybody's gonna really give a shit. Not everyone wants to have a warm, compassionate relationship. Um, a little backstory, the mother that I talk about that passed away, <clears throat> she was um, filled with compassion and filled with just a ton of really warm, empathetic love. And so it, I didn't really know that there were people in the world um, that deep down didn't want to be that kind of a person. I think I had this bl these blinders on thinking that surely everyone wants to have a good heart. Surely everyone wants to recognize where they've gone wrong and fix it. Surely everyone will cry out for help when they need it. Surely everyone will be able to I don't know, I guess it's using people that I've never done and I've never understood it. Um, I've never used a man, I've never um, used a friend, um, I don't think. Uh, I've never tried to use siblings or do anything like that to my benefit. Um, it's just, it's hard because as I'm getting older, I'm realizing that you almost have to protect yourself from these people. And not almost, you do. And cutting ties with someone that I love um, is very, very, very opposite of my nature. Um, I'm the type of person who, if we have a problem or if there's uh, you know, family issues, which there always is. Um, I can't wait to sit down, figure it out, and love again. Um, and not everyone's like that. And it's very disappointing. However, I feel strong. Um, I've, I'm taking a break from this woman in particular um, due to many circumstances. Um, but mostly because I'm starting to hear people 
you know, when they tell you that they don't care for you or their actions tell you that. I used to kind of excuse the behavior and um, now I'm realizing that just embrace what they're telling you, you know, they're telling you that they don't love you, that they don't have a compassionate heart, that they don't um, bear in mind or, or have the same list of what's important um, as I do, um, which is fine. People can be who they want to be, but it is very jarring and really extremely sad. I've had many sad days thinking about, you know, um, the fact that my mom's not here and, and I leaned very heavily on this particular mother-in-law. I have another mother-in-law who I've grown extremely close to and, uh, yeah, it's just, um, I don't really have the words for the way that it's made me feel to realize that someone can play, play their family like a chess game, like a really like play their family, manipulate their family, manipulate the roles in the family and what they tell someone about you or use you for this situation. And then, I mean, that's all I can think of as it's like a board game, like a, it's like a psycho, really. And um, anyway, I've cut her out of our life, my life, my life, I shouldn't say our. My husband has always warned me about it, and I've just kind of made it, oh, no, she was hurt. Hurt people hurt people. You know, surely there's goodness in, in her heart. Surely she just needs someone to empathize with her and and, and understand, you know, that she has disappointments in life just like I do and understand that, you know, she's been hurt or, you know, hasn't been treated well throughout her life. And, and even that alone is hard for me because my mom, who was just a natural lover, um, had been treated horribly. <laughs> throughout our life, and yet there was no end to the amount of time she would spend, you know, talking to you or or loving on you or hugging on you, and I mean, it just is who she was. So I've got that situation going on. Now I'm dealing with my stepmother, and I have, she's been in our lives for over 30 years. Um, we've had a tumultuous relationship, but it was mainly because she was not saved and she was not, and that's important to me, it might not be important to a lot of people, but what I mean by that is like when the Holy Spirit gets a hold of you, you can definitely see the difference in people. I mean, it is true that it's spirituality and salvation and, and studying, you know, all of the spiritual leaders and having some sort of practice, it does change your mindset and it absolutely changes your heart. So late in life, actually after my mother passed away, so mom died about six years ago, my stepmother and I were pretty rocky back and forth until mm, a while after. She didn't have a lot of sympathy for Michelle passing away, although I think she did on her alone time, but she's a hard woman. She she had a hard life, and so she's very, you know, she protects with a vengeance, um, whereas I kind of like break open. My own way of dealing with things is just to share, 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 you know, because I think, you know, surely everyone is feeling this way, and everyone has pain, and, and you know, I think transparency, transparency has been my personal saving grace. Um, but a call happened today that hurt. Um, you know, my father is unable to work. He had a stroke. And, and my husband and I and my siblings and everybody has done everything they possibly can to, to reach in our pockets, to, I don't know, help anything, any way possible. And Sometimes it feels like she's very ungrateful. I know that she's stressed out. I know that she has the, the God's love in her and that conviction will soon follow after this conversation we had today. 
but she tried to use my mental illness um, against me, which was just shocking. Um, it's one of those relationships where you're only allowed to say certain things. And as a 43 year old woman, I'm fucking tired of it. I'll just be quite frank. I refuse to live my life like this anymore. Um, I know that we have a strong family unit in this house when it comes to my brother, my husband, my beautiful stepchildren, my good girlfriends, um, even my neighbor is like an angel walking on earth and I feel mom sent to me to help me get through some things. Um, but you know, there's that old proverb I've read, I think it's an Indian proverb or Native American proverb that says, uh, when people tell you who they are, listen. And another one is, um, it doesn't matter what people call you, it's what you answer to. And those two things have really set into motion um, the strength in me to just finally be done with the abuse, you know. I, I just give and, and give, and it's like opening up a vein over and over and over again, and then making excuses as to why I have to patch this vein up, you know, why they have to, they, they do what they do, and I'm just no longer interested. I thought somebody came in. No longer interested in doing that. So if you ever watch this video, I'm curious to see what other people do in these situations and have you benefited from cutting people out of your life or if not cutting people out of your life, not giving your heart and soul to them when it's clearly not appreciated. Um, I think what I've decided is the people that want me to love them and talk to them and be open with them and transparent with them are the people that I'm going to continue to build these relationships with. And the ones that don't, I'm tired. I'm tired and hurt and disappointed of wasting just so much time on being rejected. So curious if anybody has any parental rejection going on and or narcissism in their midst and how you guys might handle some of that. Thank you. Peace and plenty. Smile. Life is so incredibly short.